Okay, the Rams put out a or Rams article here about the trade between Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff two years later, just kind of looking at it. And it's pretty amazing what, what has happened and what has transpired. So remember, in the trade, the Rams get Stafford. We get Goff, two first-round picks, and a third-rounder. Obviously, Rams go on to win the Super Bowl. Congratulations. Cannot take anything away from them. But for Lions, this was a historic trade that turned our franchise around. Thank you, Brad Holmes, because I agree with this tweet right here. Jared Goff is a better QB than Matthew Stafford right now. He's whoop. Oh boy. He's younger, healthier, cheaper. And the Lions will get a top five pick from the Rams in 2023. The Rams winning the Super Bowl was an all-time example of the results working out on a fundamentally bad trade. This is a bad trade. Goff and Stafford just pairing them up one for one is like, I don't know, right? Because Goff is 28. Stafford's 35. He's older. He's had injury concerns. So just right there is, I don't know, you can almost trade him straight up if you wanted. Especially the way Goff played this year proved that. He was a full-time starter for the Rams for four years, went to three playoff appearances and a Super Bowl. I mean, Stafford, whatever. You can, you can say you can blame this, blame that. He never, he never, he went to the, he went to the playoffs a few times, but nothing, nothing at that rate, right? So what you also get is you get Jared Goff, younger, I'm going to keep doing this, younger, cheaper, and he gets capital, draft capital around him to make his team better. So I'll take that trade all day long. Again, the Rams went on to win the Super Bowl Super Bowl very hard. They put it all together one year. You can't take that away, and that's something that we all want, a Super Bowl. But in exchange for that trade, we get sustainability. We get a quarterback that's on the field, a good quarterback with a good contract who played great this year and really only played good bad one year which was last year when he comes to a bad rebuild team that was one year off turns out we were one year off and we are we're, we're here we're we're playing well nine and eight finish this season golf playing out of his mind and we have draft capital to build around him and Stafford his career might be over sounds like he's got a neck issue that if he wants to play again he'd have to be really careful you know he'd have to have surgery and get cleared and kind of almost like a Peyton Manning thing and I mean it's amazing again I love how that guy used fundamentally bad this is fundamentally that's not a trade you're supposed to make that's a bad trade for the Rams and hey great for the Lions and it works it's working out for the Lions because you are going to get the draft capital you're building around Goff Goff's a Everything, everything about Goff, and the more that he's here, and the more I, I really am liking him and liking him. For example, he comes here to a bad team, gets traded, nothing can do about it. He goes from a Super Bowl contender to the Lions in the middle of a rebuild, doesn't say anything except let's go, let's go. Love it here, love the challenge. Can't we turn around? Going to be a turnaround. I've been part of turnarounds before. Just saying all the right things, keeps his mouth shut. People are like, oh, he's a bridge quarterback. He's not good enough. He's this. He's that. And he just continues to do all the right things. Start one and six. I am thinking to myself, we got to do, I don't know what we're going to do. We got to do something different at quarterback. We need a mobile quarterback. You know, we're all out of control. He goes, rattles off. He's like eight and one down the stretch or whatever. Yeah, eight and one down the stretch. Doesn't throw interceptions. Solid, great decision making. We, we're, if you don't turn the ball over, and you just kind of let our defense play. And we had one bad game, obviously, against Carolina. Let our Give our defense a chance. Hit the shots when they're there. Running games there. Running games, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, you win eight out of nine to finish the season. And we've got two picks in the first. Two picks in the second. Brad Holmes is he's going to kill the first half of the draft. And then he kills the back half of the draft. And we could all now all of a sudden, we've got a team that's elite talent and depth and sustainability like that is the big thing the sustainability part when we had Stafford it was we got this quarterback he's really talented all right we got Kelvin Johnson we're gonna throw it up we're gonna kind of win some games but you know are we went in or we just it just was always clunky what's the plan what's the core 
and we didn't know it at the time as Lions fans, but now we see it now because we've been able to see, oh, you bring in the right guys. You, you, you're you building it the right way. And what's the right way? Well, it's it's guys that love football. You're not overpaying for, for contracts. You're not getting splash players. You're not reaching in free agency. You're drafting well. In case you missed it, Craig and I put a video out about we went back about 10 years looking at the draft classes it's well there we go that's why the lions never could win about one player in every draft class was like oh yeah i remember him like i remember him being a good player one player per draft class we just did two brad holmes just done two draft classes five or six per year contributing gonna be good only haven't played, you know, only, only like a seventh rounder hasn't played because he's been hurt. You know, th- you know, that's the stuff Brad Holmes does. You cannot draft as poorly as the Lions did, expect to win. There's no, there's no plan. There's no core. There's no foundation. We've got foundational players. We've got the right veteran free agents that come in affordable, the whole thing. Right. So it's just, Yes, the trade worked out for the Rams. They won a Super Bowl. But at the end of the day, we get the better quarterback. As of right now, we have the better quarterback, A, because he's playing, he's younger, better contract, and better pieces around him. The Rams have no picks. You can, <laughs> I mean, it, again, it worked out, but you you cannot build a team without picks. You, you, you have to have picks because free agents are a free agent for a reason they're old older injured or expensive otherwise your team would bring you back you're older and or expensive and so to build your team and what the rams are going to try to do is be very difficult where the lions are going to continue to build through the draft make really good uh picks and it's going to be i just this this whole draft that's why this draft is historic for the lions it turned our franchise around made us a team because that's why we're all so excited. It's not because we had a good season. Oh man, we had a good season. No, we all, we've had a couple good seasons before with Stafford. We're so excited because we can see like this isn't going anywhere. We're building this thing bulletproof and we're going to be able to stay around, contend for the division. Vikings don't scare us. Packers don't scare us. Bears don't scare us. We are the team now plays hard, plays together wants to be there, got the right coach, got the right GM. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. This trade, a couple years later, as we look at it, incredible. What a trade that Brad Holmes pulled off to really just launch our franchise. I never thought this trade would, no one no one pictured this trade, to get draft picks, big-time draft picks, and a starting quarterback that's better than your current quarterback. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. See ya.